What's up, everybody? Sources are telling me something big is about to hit the Big Brother game. What? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. So basically, this video is about me, of course. <laughs> yeah. In a few hours, we'll be on my way to an open casting call for the TV show called Big Brother. I mean, I've been to only a few casting calls for modeling, but this one is way different. And I've been doing my research too, and it's like a lot of people have said, Expect the unexpected. That's why they say it on purpose. Don't think that you know what it is that they want to see. Be you on crack. Be you on crack. My, my, my class is, class is they work for me, they work, they Me on crack is a lot. Cause me, normal. <laughs> I couldn't even smoke weed just cause I was a natural tweak. And weed itself fucked me up. Maybe that's why I'm the way that I am now. I don't know, but you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Take a risk. I've been taking risks on these dudes all my life. They just been letting me down. So you know what? It is time for me to take a risk on myself and just to see what all I will be at the end. That doesn't make sense. What all I can become. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just going to be myself and hopefully they just love me. I love me. Most people love me. So it's like... Duh. They said be extra. <laughs> That's what I don't know. Like, I don't... Because I'm extra as fuck. Like extra like hey ho you home i was made to be in this big brother house and i don't know if i should be extra extra or just extra because i can be extra but like i don't know if they're if america is ready for the extra that comes with me being extra you know what i'm saying <sighs> jesus take the wheel Just met with Andy and had a brief conversation, which I think went really well. Um, basically, he told me to be extra as fuck. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Just be extra. I'm gonna put myself out there, be totally vulnerable, and I'm gonna just be me. And, and I'm gonna drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans are about to begin. My strategy was to not like psych myself out and just like, you know, come off as rehearsed and super script. It was definitely an experience to say the least and not as bad as I thought that it was gonna be. So I definitely like recommend that people just put yourself out there. You never know, just go for it. Right Rob? Absolutely. Rob went for it. I went, hey, hey, did it all. I did it all, you know. I didn't have any expectations going in. At first, walked like last night, I thought it through, and I was like, oh, I should do this. But I came up with no solutions. I went in, and hey, whether they like me or not. Exactly, and, I'm still me at the end of the okay. day. The grind never stops, we're still working. Hello, we're still and look, out here, and so. the fact that we were able to do this just shows like yeah. the hunger and like, you know, it just prepares us for whatever is next to come. Even if we don't get this gig, it's another gig that we're gonna be able to yep. approach with more confidence and more knowledge of like what it is that they expect and how to go into that situation. So I'm just grateful that for the overall experience and just being able to put myself out there and you know, do what scares me. I'm grateful the fact that we didn't go to in the same room together. <laughs> Cause I love you, Rob but I would have to like, take you know your what? ass out. <laughs> I ain't come here for none of that. I came here to win Big Brother, honey. I can't believe I really did that, though. No, I think I think I think you did great. Uh, just from the time that we walked in, I think you you were talking to the producer because she knew the producer. Casting was, director. Well, whatever. Andy Sloan, go follow see, him see on Instagram. Yeah, she's always trying to correct me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's not the producer. He's just the casting well, director. You I knew just put that out there. Who the head <laughs> honcho? You knew him, but no, for real. Walking in, you, she turned on like a switch. Like, I thought we was gonna talk it out before we, I thought we were gonna strategize. Lauren just, like, kicking you. Yeah, but no, you did, you did amazing. Thanks, Rob. Yeah. 
You too. You're doing what we do best. Okay. Make your move. Do That's it. Oh, look. Uh, check. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, you know, I'm, yeah. Come on. You know come what I'm through. saying? You know, Put on I the hat. To, let them know to, what it is. I had to. I had to. Put on the hat and let them know what it is now. Let's see. <laughs> Woo! What it is? Well, this uh, is fashion. Oh, the art. And I'm walk Ooh. away from it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I feel good, I feel confident. I feel it absolutely amazing. God. Even if I don't get it, I'm content with that. <laughs> One of the questions was like, he randomly asked me, it was like, so what's your favorite color? Randomly, right? I know. And I was like blue, I lied. My favorite color is not blue, it's pink. Like, I did it unexpected. So what is going on like this you nobody knew i had this underneath here nobody knew that i i come ready okay? it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up and i put my hair up <laughs> in a ponytail and i was like i come ready for the kill like okay you need me on your team because you never know what you're gonna get and <laughs> that they're gonna remember that and then, like, the guy next to me, he was like, oh, yeah, high five. <laughs> like, and then after that, after I got done, I put back on my pants looking stupid as hell. And I was like, thank you, America. Once I had said, once you seen me unbutton my pants, he was like, he was like, if you think that this is, please don't take off your pants. If you think that this is going to impress me, I will guarantee you that it is not. Please don't take off your pants. And that was very scary for me to do that, like. And I had to be the one to think outside of the box and to just say fuck it. <laughs> that's what I did and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my God, my butt is so flat. This is sad. Ooh, wait. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely keep you guys posted on this experience slash journey that I'm going on called life. The more and more stuff that I just do and the more risks that I take and the more that I just get comfortable with being uncomfortable, I can honestly say that I'm just like loving every minute of it. And through the process, I'm learning so much about myself. I'm able to engage more with people. I'm able to, you know, just talk about myself and just know me better. And that's, I feel like that's what life is all about. It's about knowing who you are, knowing what you bring to the table and just going after whatever it is that you want. And I promise you guys, once you start, you're not gonna wanna stop because of the feeling that you're going to get, the self-fulfillment that you're going to get during the process is going to be so rewarding. Whether you get it or not, you're gonna feel it. And that, no one can put a price on. Nobody and nothing. And that, to me, is what it's all about. Oh, 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 oh,